Okay, so what I have here is a fairly new cigar. It's been out only for a couple months now. I think it came out in July during IPCPR of this year in uh, Las Vegas. And honestly, I have ne I don't think I've ever reviewed a cigar from uh, Alec Bradley. What this is, is the Alec Bradley, and I'm probably going to botch the name up, Coil? Coal? I'm going to go with Coil, because I'm not particularly sure how it's pronounced. It is C-O-Y-O-L. And from my understanding, that's the name of the farm in Honduras where they get a lot of the tobacco for this particular cigar. The wrapper on this is from the, I'm going to say, Coil Farm. Uh, part of the binder is also, it's a double binder. It's a Honduran wrapper, a Nicaraguan and Honduran binder. And then my understanding also is the filler is also Nicaraguan and Honduran. So kind of a blend all the way from those uh, two countries. Now from my understanding, uh, Alec Bradley Company, Alan Rubin, found the, uh, this farm to have exceptional tobacco in Honduras and wanted to highlight it with uh, this particular cigar right here. So from my understanding, this coil cigar here comes in six sizes. What I have here is the Petite Lance Arrow, which is six and a half inches by 41 ring gauge. A smaller cigar, which will highlight more that I believe of the wrapper to binder to filler ratio. Give you a good um, interpretation of what the uh, wrapper is. And I have to say that the wrapper is really nice looking on this. Uniformity, medium body, medium color, all the way through it, silky smooth. It's a really beautiful looking wrapper. Um, very minimal on, on veins, it's really tight. It's a very nice looking wrapper all in all. Has this uh, cedar body that's coming off of the wrapper. Off of the foot, you get a tinge of that Nicaraguan uh, manure, a little bit of hay essence going on with it. Some uh, cedar notes going on. Smells like from off of the foot, it'll be along the lines of medium bodied cigar. But what I could see is there's a swirl, you can tell in there, of some dark tobacco, some lajero going on. So this might bump it up to more of a medium plus body. And if you can see, it has not really a pigtail, but this little fin tail going on also there on the uh, cap. Really good looking. Solid construction all the way through on this Petite Lancero. From my understanding, the price point on this was right around $7. So cut it up, light it up, and smoke it up. Very easy draw coming through. Uh, cedar notes, a little bit of white pepper spice on the finish. All in all, really nice woody essence. So let me toast it up and see how it does on this Alec Bradley. I want to say coil. I really don't know the pronunciation on this. I'm sorry if I botched it up. So give it a little bit of toasting going on here. On well, the get-go, uh, it lands around medium plus bodied, almost full bodied. It has this essence of peppery spice, a little bit of salty tinge on the end of it. A little bit of dried fruit essence, like a um, bite of a citrus peel with the ending of uh, cedar notes going on. So it lands around medium plus body right now. Let me give it a quick retro hail and see how it does. Ooh wow, that's a peppery blast right through the retro hail. I'm gonna try this again. It's really complex. It really like just grabs you right from the beginning of how um, complex. A lot of complexity is just interplaying going on with this cigar right now. I mean, I've just lit it up. This is my first one. Excellent. Creamy. Chewy. Great woody notes on the end of it. It, uh, all in all, is really well done. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit back and enjoy some more of this Alec Bradley cigar, and I'll be back in a little bit. So I've let the Alec Bradley cigar open up a little bit here, and I'm really impressed with this. This is really well done, well balanced, lands around medium plus bodied. Chewy body with almost like this roasted nut slash coffee, which ends with a little bit of peppery spice. And has this um, well-rounded balance of cedar notes going on. So, and plus, I, I didn't touch it. I touched it when I first lit it up. This has a really easy draw. So to me, it's almost like I'm smoking a... Um, Lancero where I have to really take my time because I'm flying through this particularly quick because the uh, draw on this is really easy but uh, very well done still through the nasal cavity I'm getting that um, almost like citrus bite going on also again with some peppery notes and it finishes with still that uh, cedar essence all in all, very well done, and I'm going to bring it down to the uh, halfway point, and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm about at the halfway point now of this Alec Bradley coil. Uh, hopefully that's the right pronunciation. I'm not particularly sure. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Creamy body with a good essence of cedar and this almost like floral notes going on, which might just be the woody contrast that are happening. Cedar, cream, coffee, the floral notes, some uh, toasty grain going on, lands around medium plus bodied. I'm just about to that first band right there that I'll have to take off shortly. Let me give it a, a quick retro hail and see how it does. All in all, it's got an um, easy draw and produces a ton of smoke. Through the retro hail, it really has this unique woody quality that's going on. It's, it's hard to, um, to really nail it down what it is, but it's really well done. And I want to say it's almost like a floral notes. So with that said, I'm going to bring the Alec Bradley down to the final third. So I'm getting down now to the final third of the Alec Bradley coil and I had to take the uh, bands off. Peppery spice, cedary notes, creamy body, still has almost like a floral or just really concentrated woody notes going on. It's a very unique cigar. Very well done. I'm highly impressed with this. Very, very well done. Yep. Just pretty much everything I, I touched on right now. So it's a very unique cigar. Uh, like I said, again, very well done. If you get an opportunity, I highly suggest to uh, try one of these brand new Alec Bradley cigars. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.